Good morning. I'm Pastor Mark Sewell with the Vine Church in Smithsburg, Maryland, and I'm grateful that you're connecting with us today for a word of encouragement, for a word that's going to make a difference, hopefully, because that word's coming from God's word. You see my shirt? Blessed. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear that word? Blessed. You know, it's all over scripture. Over a couple hundred times the word blessed is used. Um, so let's take a look at this for a little bit, okay? Because you, right now, are truly blessed. You really are. No matter what's going on with this COVID-19, no matter what the, the struggle is that you're going through right now, you're still blessed. And I'm just hoping that you can feel that today. I hope that you can sense that, that the Holy Spirit will touch your heart today because of who God is. I wanted to read just a couple pieces of scripture. We're in the Old Testament right now, Psalm 34, verse 8. Taste and see, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Taste and see, man, this is good stuff. But the only way you can taste, the only way you can see is that if you really get into that word, if you really get into scripture, open it up, explore it for yourself, taste it, and you will find out that there's truth in it. You will find out that there's peace in it. Taste and see. You'll you'll be blessed. Another scripture in Psalm 146, verse 5. It's coming up. Maybe it's not right at the moment. Okay, we're we're having technical difficulties here. So Psalm 146, 5 talks about that we're blessed if we seek God. He will give us hope. We're blessed as we reach out to him. We're blessed as we, we seek his face. And we put our hope in him. Not hope in, for the, the um, vaccine for this virus coming out. Not, not putting our hope in that, boy, I hope they have the supplies at Walmart that I, I, I need. But we trust in God. We put our hope in him. That's when we're blessed. That's when we're blessed. I wanted to share another another scripture with us with you today. Um, let's see. In Matthew 5, 6. Now, you know, Matthew, this is the, the Beatitudes, right? And a lot of people are probably familiar with that. Um, but I just want to want to share with you right now. This word blessed, if the first thing that you come, comes to your mind is, is a car, a house, I mean, that, that's always kind of part of it for so many people, but it's not the point. It just is not the point, you know? This is, this is the point. Check this out. Matthew 5, 6, okay? Okay. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are those. Blessed are those. Man, this is this is amazing stuff. Why? Because we're not to hunger and thirst for things and all those other all those other kind of add-ons to life, but we're to hunger and thirst for God. We're to hunger and thirst for his ways. For his ways. Because he's gonna reach out, he's gonna touch our heart, man. He's gonna he's gonna make your life at peace because of who Jesus is, because of what God's doing in your life right now. You may not see it. It might be all chaos. Could be. It could. There could be a lot of pain. But I'm here to let you know that God understands your pain. He went to the cross for you. He understands pain. He understands torture. He understands it. He's there for you. He's got the compassion for you, right? Let me take one more one more verse. Okay, it's, it's Numbers, Numbers six. This is, that's the Old Testament, right? So check this out. This is a blessing that Moses is saying to his people. This is what I want to close with. This is my blessing using God's words for you right now, right where you're at. And I'm, I'm asking that you share this blessing with people. I'm asking that you, you connect your friends to these videos, connect your friends to the Vine Church. We're here for you. And we want you to have a blessed life, like my shirt says. 
So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face to you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. We've got a couple of things going on tonight. Men's Life Group, Zoom at, at 7 o'clock. If you want that link, reach out to me. Sunday, we start the day at 9 with our Zoom prayer meeting. And then at 10, we're live on Facebook. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Take care.